Hey Vinyl Community, it's Michael. Welcome back to Near Wild Heaven. Uh, what's playing in the background, this is the Serb Bardo uh, on Five Years Ahead of My Time. This is a 10 inch set from uh, 19, or no, 2000, released by Sunday's Music. Really good garage psych. Uh, pretty good stuff. These guys are from. I'm not even sure, but uh, yeah, really good stuff. If you don't know about Third Bardo, check them out. Uh, yeah, the song I'm Five Years Ahead of My Time was covered by the Cramps. Uh, really good stuff, the Third Bardo. So, turn this down. Okay, um, today's video is going to be November Vinyl Finds and some record store day stuff that I got today. Um, some of this stuff was uh, online purchases and others were from the local record shops. So up first this is uh, the dark side, all that noise. This is from 1990. Uh, this band is uh, an offshoot of uh, Spaceman 3. Um, one of the people in this band, his name is, uh, Paul Bain, I think. Uh, I don't know. Uh, one guy from here was in, uh, Spaceman 3. But this is really good, uh, guitar-oriented, uh, mostly instrumental. There is some, uh, vocals on it. Uh, but, yeah really good stuff uh kind of psyche uh like spaceman 3 a little bit but yeah really good stuff uh the songs like soul deep waiting for the angels guitar voodoo found love she don't come love in a burning universe all that noise but really good stuff from the dark side all that noise from 1990 and I like that one so much, I also got this one. It's their second album. Uh, it's called Mellow Mania. Um, pretty good. Uh, much like the first one I showed. Lots of guitar-oriented uh, music. Uh, really good stuff from uh, uh, The Dark Side. Uh, formerly members of uh, Spaceman 3. Really good stuff. And up next, this one I just got today. This is The Damned, Phantasmagoria. I've been looking for this one for a while. This one's kind of hard to come by, but pretty cool album. Uh, this is from 1985. This is uh, The Damned's, like, goth album. I think this is when they started uh, doing, instead of doing, like, punk oriented music they went to more of a goth sound but still pretty good stuff the damned phantasmagoria and this has uh grimly fiendish is i think was a single on this but uh lots of other good stuff street of dreams shadow of love they'll come a day sanctum sanctorium uh, Edward the Bear, The Eighth Day, Trojans, all oh, really good stuff. Really good. I'm so glad to find this. I've been looking for this album for years. And I 
finally got a good copy of it. And what was weird was uh, this was inside it. I have no idea who this person is. It says uh, Western Carolina University. Uh, Sally Carson. And why that was in there, I have no idea, but I don't know. Kind of weird to find stuff like that in a record. But anyway, up next, this is uh, The Cramps, Tales from the Cramps. This is Volume 1. Uh, this is great. I love The Cramps. And this is pretty good bootleg. Uh, it's got songs on it like What's Behind the Mask, Love Me, Teenage Werewolf, Sunglasses After Dark, TV Set, Don't Eat Stuff Off the Sidewalk. They do a cover of uh, The Sonics, Strict Nine, and then I'm Cramped, Twist and Shout, Rockin' Bones, and Mad Daddy really good stuff. There's a volume two of this I want to get, but really good stuff from the Cramps, uh, Tales from the Cramps. And up next, this is the B-52's uh, Cosmic Thing. This is an original uh, 1989 release on Reprise. Uh, this was their comeback album after uh, Ricky Wilson died, one of the original members. He died in um, sometime in the 80s, probably about 86, 87, somewhere around there. But this is their comeback album. Uh, it's got, this thing was loaded with hits. There was, this, when this first came out, I heard this, a lot of this stuff on the radio. But uh, songs like Cosmic Thing, Dry County, Deadbeat Club, and Love Shack. Love Shack's the, the big hit off of this. Uh, Rome is another good one. Uh, Bushfire, Channel Z, Topaz, Follow Your Bliss. Really good stuff from uh, the B-52s from 1989, Cosmic Thing. And up next... This is um, the King Khan and BBQ show, Invisible Girl. These guys, this is a duo, uh, two guys here. Uh, let me see. Uh, King Khan on vocals, guitar, and organ, and Mark BBQ Sultan on vocals, guitar, and drums. But this is pretty good. It's kind of garagey, uh, kind of weird, as you can tell by the cover there, kind of strange, but yeah, it's pretty good, it's pretty good, like, uh, garage rock, this came out in 2009, but kind of a unique sound, uh, King Kong and the BBQ show. Uh, the Invisible Girl. Now, the next one, this is one of my best finds. This is Man or Astro Man, uh, What Remains Inside a Black Hole. This is a Australian pressing of a compilation of uh, their B-sides. So, like, none of this stuff is on any of their other albums. But, yeah, this is great. I love this band. I'm trying to find as much stuff as I can by them. Their uh, albums are really hard to come by. Uh, the CDs, a little bit easier, a little bit cheaper. But uh, I paid up for this, but uh, it was well worth it. Great, great album. I Like I said, I love uh, Man or Astro Man, but it's on this... Uh, uh, Australian label here called Agogo. Really good stuff. Um, let's see, it's got uh, insert inside. Um, 
So this collection of free-floating sonic satellites is a graveyard in space for lost B-sides from the dark void of man or astro-man. So, really good stuff. Like I said, uh, I love this band, Man or Astro Man, uh, What Remains Inside a Black Hole. And up next, this is uh, T-Rex, Futuristic Dragon. This is a reissue from 1987. It originally came out, I think, in 1975, uh, maybe a little bit earlier than that, but yeah, it's pretty good. Um, Mark Bolin was like going through changes in his musical styles there, and this kind of sounds a bit like his earlier stuff, like around the time of uh, Electric Warrior and the Slider. Uh, so this kind of harks back to that a little bit, but it's still pretty good. I really like uh, T-Rex and Mark Bolin, a lot of good uh, music from them over the years, but this is one of their overlooked albums, but it's still pretty good. Futuristic Dragon by T-Rex. And up next, this is Flat Duo Jets, Go Go Harlem Baby. This is, uh, this originally came out in 1991, and this is a reissue on Third Man Records, but it doesn't say what year it came out, so I would imagine, like, within the last couple of years. But really good stuff. Uh, Flat Duo Jets was, uh, like, kind of maybe sort of like white stripes a little bit the two people uh, um, well on here there's four people but uh, the main two people are uh, Dexter Romweber and some guy named Crow on drums but really good stuff that's similar in style to the white stripes and maybe like the cramps and stuff like that but really good stuff kind of rockabilly influenced a little bit uh, just really good garage rock but really good stuff from the flat duo jets the go go Harlem baby and up next this is the residence fingerprints this is from 1979. Um, I think this might be a uh, an original press. Uh, I just got this like a few days ago. Um, haven't really got a chance to listen to this one yet, but it's pretty good. I like uh, the residents. They're kind of strange, avant-garde. Um, most people that are into them know what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, Fingerprints by The Residents. Uh, I think this was like their third album, maybe. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, really good stuff from The Residents. Fingerprints. Up next, this is Black Flag, the first four years. Uh, this is really good. This is a collection of EPs. This is, this is all uh, pre-Henry Rollins. Uh, they got Greg Ginn on guitar, Chuck Dukowski on bass, uh, Brian Migdol, Robo, and Keith Morris on vocals on some of the tracks, Shavo on vocals, uh, and Des Kadena on vocals and guitar. And uh, the recordings that appear here and originally appear on the Nervous Breakdown EP, the Jealous Again EP, Six Pack EP, Cracks in the Sidewalk, Chunks, and Louie Louie. But really good stuff, really early stuff from Black Flag. It's great, 
punk rock. It's great stuff. And just uh, got three more here. This one is Chicken Shack, except this is like uh, British blues. It's pretty good. Um, you might remember them from uh, they did a song called Poor Boy. Um, I don't know about in your part of the country, but uh, in my part of the country, they play that song a lot uh, in the early 70s. I heard that a lot on the radio. But this, I came across this album, uh, pretty good. Um, got a lot of uh, good guitar work. This is, uh, the guitarist on here, his name is Dan Webb. And you also have Paul Raymond on vocals, piano, organ, and Andy Sylvester on bass, and Dave Bidwell on drums. But really good stuff from Chicken Shack. Uh, British Blues from, uh, this came out in 1970, I believe. But yeah, Except by Chicken Shack. And now for the Record Store Day stuff. Uh, I only got two things. Um, this is the first one, the Mamas and the Papas at, uh, at uh, the Monterey Pop Festival from 1967. Um, I really like this band. Um, I really like the music that they did on this. Uh, I haven't really, like I said, I just bought this. It's still sealed. I haven't opened it yet. But it's got some good stuff on it. Um, Got uh, California Dreamin', Spanish Harlem, Somebody Groovy, I Call Your Name, Monday Monday, San Francisco, uh, I think it's Scott McKenzie doing that one, and Dancing in the Street. But pretty good stuff from the Mamas and the Papas from uh, the Monterey Pop Festival. And the last one here is the 13th Floor Elevator, Bull of the Woods. I got this one. Um, I wanted to get uh, the Screaming Trees live, but I couldn't find it. It was gone. But at least I got this one and the Mamas and the Papas. So, yeah, I'm really happy to get this. Uh, I haven't spun it yet, but I'll be doing that shortly so there you go um that's this week's finds for november i hope you enjoyed that i hope everybody had a wonderful thanksgiving and enjoyed with your families i hope you got uh everything you wanted for black friday record store day and i guess that'll be it for now and we'll see you next week take care vc